Okay, so one person commented and asked me like, how do you know when you're in a healthy environment when you've been in a toxic environment um, for so long, like you've been steeped in it? And I guess the answer to that question is like multi-layered. So it, it just definitely wasn't gonna be a 90 second response like my video. Um, but for me to know I'm in a healthy environment, one, it takes time to discern you're in a healthy environment. I don't think that if you've been in toxicity before, you can automatically come out and be like, oh, this environment is healthy, this one is not. Like, it takes time to see if an environment is healthy. It, it, it takes vulnerability, first of all. First thing is it takes a vulnerability. You, you really can't know if something is healthy or unhealthy unless you spend some time around it like there are some things that like red flags of course that you can be like mm -mm. anything that makes me feel like that toxic environment off rip or i can smell and sense those toxic ways um those those are like absolute red flags like i wouldn't even try in those spaces but i feel like when you find a space that isn't like immediately like toxic like it isn't red flag there's no red major red flags like it's going to take time to un like unearth the toxicity if it's there underneath I think for me, the overarching thing for me when it comes to like knowing what the place is, is healthy or not, is first was like um, emotional intelligence. Like if I'm dealing with a person or a place that doesn't have the capacity for disagreement or doesn't have the capacity for introspection, they can't be wrong. They don't have the ability to be accountable. Like those are environments immediately that I don't want to be a part of. Um, I don't want to be a part of any environment that can't see themselves. They can't be wrong. They can't ever have room for improvement. I don't want to be around anybody like that who doesn't have the capacity to be reflective. Like you may get upset initially. You may feel away at first, but I need a person and I need places that are able to come back to the table. Um, so for me, like a healthy environment is a place where there's room for disagreement. There's room for growth. There's room for accountability because we suffocate in places where there's no capacity for us to stretch out and be ourselves. like there's not enough air in this room for me to breathe like and be myself so it's a place that i would suffocate so i'm always looking for places that know how to reciprocate energy um that have expectations that come from communication like a person who knows how to communicate all of that to me is a part of emotional intelligence so i'm looking for a place that knows how to communicate it looks for a place that has healthy accountability i also had to acknowledge the fact that i was very damaged because of my previous relationship and the ways that i had to fit in myself into the box of that relationship in order to survive in that relationship so like even things like i had to realize that i had like I had to work on myself a lot like in order for me to realize this relationship was or these next situations were were healthy um environments are healthy is i had to do internal work to make sure that i wasn't like judging these environments based off past trauma so like even something like someone calling me little things like somebody calling me by my my name because the only time my name was really used in my previous relationship to some degree was mostly like as a microaggression like it was to suggest that they were unhappy to get my attention in a way that was negative and so i had to remember that when other people use my name even friends just use my name it's not negative they're just it's just my name like so we don't realize how how deeply damaged we are and i had to do the work of like understanding like in a healthy environment you know uh you you, you could you could you know tell your partner or tell your friends you could have friends like in a healthy environment um i had to realize all the ways that i had been damaged that's all i'm trying to say like i had i had to do that work if i didn't do the work then i would have saw i would have been before the before there would have been anything revealed about this place being unhealthy i would have self-sabotaged this environment yes that's that's the part if i didn't do the work of like understanding where those like what was unhealthy about the other relationship and what a new healthy relationship looks like then i would i would sabotage this relationship by projecting my insecurities and the stuff that i haven't worked out onto this environment and then making it unhealthy because it could have been a healthy person so a part of having the ability to be in the next healthy space is to making sure that you look at the ways that you've been damaged and some things come off fast some things come off slow and there's certain healing that can only happen in the context of relationship so um 
yeah, you got to do the work to, to, to when you come out of a toxic environment, you may not be able to even not see a, a healthy environment, but you won't know how to participate in it. So it doesn't even matter if you can identify it. You need to identify more importantly, what's already what's messed up with you, how you were damaged from the toxicity and work very hard to remove those layers of damage to, to, to find out who you really are. And so look, if a place doesn't have a, doesn't have space for me in an emotional and intelligent way, no emotional maturity, I can't go there because we need to be able to communicate. We need to be able to work things out. Like, I don't want to be in a conversation with the person that their emotions rule them and they don't know how to look at logic. That's an unhealthy environment. It's an unhealthy environment where they don't know how to say I'm sorry. So I'm looking for someone who can say sorry. Right. That's the sexiest thing in the world. Like a, a woman who could say sorry. What? You know how many like. I'm sorry was something I, I never really used to hear. So like instant turn on what because accountability comes from security you can be you can say i'm sorry when you uh realize it doesn't take anything from you it, it doesn't take anything for you to, to admit that you was wrong you still you still who you are because like your your identity doesn't come from per, being perfect it comes from um who god says you are and then being okay with learning and growing and evolving like and so yeah so if i had to say that's how that's like that's the end that's that's the the start of it i think is looking for emotional maturity and place and space and capacity for you to be you a place that knows how to communicate in order a place that knows how to accept accountability and, and, and correction making better changes make like making better choices with you if you like and it takes time to see that. That's not something. It takes vulnerability to see that. You can't. You can't come into a space like that and be fully walled up and be like, "Oh, this place is unhealthy." How would you know? You're not engaging. So love takes vulnerability. New environments to really eat the most out of them take vulnerability. So emotional intelligence, vulnerability, um, and then removing the damage from your own life, I think, is a good starting point um, to all of this. Yeah. And again, it takes time. It takes time. It's risky. But um Yeah, that's that's kind of like my my 5 cents on that. Yeah, I hope that I hope that that helped in some way. Um and lastly, yes. Like knowing like building up your worth. Knowing what you deserve. Um being being like being okay with leaving places if they don't they're not healthy like i think that helped me i had oh this is so good i had i had i had boundaries right like i knew immediately like this is the stuff i'm not going for so off the rip helping me find um healthy relationship was the creation of boundaries i created boundaries this time around so like anything that started doing like started looking like this that's a no it's a non-starter no i don't want that I, this is what i want this is what i not even want this is what i need so i created boundaries and those boundaries help me it helped me navigate because boundaries are guidelines and the boundaries help me find a space that had the capacity for me right um yeah hope all of this helps like subscribe share push the notification button and let's have more talks like this tell me in the comments what else you want me to talk about when it comes to healing vulnerability love new relationships um getting back on the horse um navigating divorce whatever um healing yeah all of that growth tell me what you want and i will do my best to get it to y'all sounds good we got a plan let's go later